So sometimes we use Blender for years but still don't know these features cause they are a bit hidden or maybe don't people talk about it a lot. So I will show you today 11 tools that can save your time and make your modeling life really easy. So let's get started. So the first tool that we are going to learn is the spare effect tool. So it's an effect that can convert any mesh into a spare. So the purpose will be not to create spare everywhere, but it will be just to create that kind of effect that can create a spare or a round shape. So which can be useful in a lot of cases where you want a spare shape. So you can just apply this tool. Okay, so I have this cube now and I will go to the edit mode, right click and subdivide and let's make this one to about 10 so we get enough subdivision and now if I want to convert it into a spare, what I would do is that shift, alt and s and then I can go to the right side and slide and it will convert it exactly like a spare. So now this is a spare which have a good topology, it can be useful. But same goes with the other objects like this kind of complex object can be also shifted into a spare. So I would just select all, shift, alt, s and there we go. Same goes for this cone, select all, shift, alt, s and a spare. That's, that's pretty amazing. And you can also go with the monkey and do it like this. So it's really amazing and even you can create a shape key for it and you can create some cool animation with this. So what I would do is that I can do it like this and now as you can see I can do it like this. So yeah it's really cool and this is one of the feature that a lot of people don't know it. So also you can tell me in comments that which of these tools you already know and which one was new for you. So you can tell in comments that. Okay, so the second tool or trick is that whenever you have this kind of weird uh, geometry, you can actually convert it and smooth it really easily. So normally what we do is that we come up here to the sculpt mode, pick up a smooth brush and draw something like this. But as you can see, it deform our mesh like this and we don't have any other option. Even if you decrease the strength, it will not work the way that you want it. So what you have to do is to come up here to the active tab where you have uh, a lot of the sculpting options. So there uh, in the smooth brush selected, you will get this option of deformation. So now it's on this one. So you can convert it to a sub, uh, a surface one. And now if we just smooth the things, it will work really ama amazing. And this is like a magic. And this is a really good tool, but a lot of people don't know it. And you can tell in comments about this tool. Okay, so the third tool is a trick for creating a uh, stairs kind of effect. So if you want to create a quick stairs, so normally what we do is that we create some kind of loops or duplicate in cube like this but there is an easy and better way for it. So if I just scale this one like this and now just go to the edit mode and select this one edge and then control B to bevel that and then add some loops like this. So now it seems normal and it's the normal bevel but what you have to do is to come up here to this menu and now click on custom and now as you can see it's already flattened now we just need the steps in it. So just if we click here to the steps and it will boom convert it to a stairs like this which is so cool and yeah this is so useful and you can use it in a lot of case okay another tool uh, that is called radical sculpt symmetry so uh, if i have a cube uh, a cylinder like this and what i will do is that i will add some loops and just to make it subdivide so i can just select these tools i do insect and then repeat the same thing with shift R and now what I will do is I will add a subdivision modifier just to make it a bit more to so we can actually sculpt it so now I'll come up here to the sculpt mode and now it is a normal sculpt like this I would uh, turn on the dyno topo 
and make this one 3 so you can see the result like this okay so now uh, what we have to do is that if we want a repeated pattern in a circular way so normally what we do is that we draw it manually but um, it's not the right way to do it so what we have to do is to come up here to this active tab and down here you will get this symmetry option so normally it's the x symmetry which will allow you to do like this but what we can do here is we can turn on the radical symmetry so let me just uh, make this one to about 10 and now as you can see you will get this kind of thing but i want it in the y direction maybe it's y or z let me just check yep it's z so i need it in z direction i will make this one 10 and this one 0 and now as you can see i get this kind of menu so now what i can do is that i can just draw like this and this will automatically draw all around like this So this is so cool effect and it can be really useful and you can create a lot of things. Sometimes uh, if I just make it like 30, it will make it too short like this. And now if I just drag, I can draw a line like this, which is super cool. And yeah, you can get a lot of ideas. Okay, so that's for the radical symmetry. Okay, so on number five, we have the quick mirror tool. Okay, so we have a mesh like this. And if I now want to mirror this for some reason, what I have to do is to select the half of it. But sometimes the half of selecting is pretty much panic because it have this kind of dense topology. And sometimes even it's not possible because it's not in center. And the topology is so weird. So what we have to do is to come up here to the edit preference and search for an add-on called auto mirror so what we have to do is to turn on this thing save this one and now what we can do is that if i press the n so with the end panel we can come up here to the edit we have this tool so now what we uh, what we can do is we can automatically add the uh, mirror so if i need it in x direction i would just click on auto mirror and this will automatically convert it into a mirror as you can see it's apply the mirror modifier and it automatically cut the whole object in center but for this you have to make sure that your pivot should be in center and the object should be exact in center so it can um, define it easily so this is how we can do that it give the mirror modifier so you can just play with it also it have all the mirror options like it have the all directions so you can just do that it's super cool and it saves a lot of time so yeah okay so at number six we have the x-ray cut so normally what happened is that if i have this uh, simple architect and this is a window glass so what i have to do is that uh, i want to break this uh, window glass um, some random like this like some ball come up here and break this thing but what it happens is that it only cut one side and if my uh, mesh have like two sides it don't give this side so what we can do is that we can uh, actually uh, do an x-ray cut so for that we have to pick up the knife and then press c so we enable the x-ray and now if i just do any kind of cut that i like so now if i come up here i would get the exact same thing so i can just delete these tools and yeah the uh, window is now cracked fine so it's really useful in a lot of terms where, where you need um, the x-ray card so yeah okay so on number seven we have the repeat action tool so for example i have this thing and i shift the duplicate and then r to just rotate that something like this and now what i want is to repeat the whole action uh, i can do it manually like doing this but i don't have the dimension and the exact same thing so it maybe there can be a difference so what you have to do is that whenever you do an action so just shift dr and rotate it like here so this is now an action we can repeat the same action by just pressing shift and r so shift r shift r and yeah something like this 
so you get also the angle thing so if you want to change that you can change that but yeah this is how we can repeat any action that we want it it can be go for like um, du duplicating anything in any direction or any kind of thing so yeah okay the number eight one is my favorite because it saves me a lot of time so i was working at office and uh, i duplicate some of the objects and then i get this kind of uh, weird naming that 0 0.001 and it's so uh, unprofessional and i have to rename all of my meshes so i was doing it manually but then i found a renamer that can uh, actually rename the whole thing in just once so what we have to do is to select all of the things that have this kind of weird naming at the end so we can control f2 and then we get this kind of menu so we can actually find and replace any of the name that we want so here i want to replace this 0 0.001 this thing with actually nothing i don't want anything uh, with that so i would just click on ok and as you can see all of my naming is now fine i can do a lot of stuff that um, the first thing that I can replace it with anything for example um, most of the time I need this name like uh, slash geo it's called for the geometry so I can re just re replace it with that or what you can do is that if I just do it with none and then I can add uh, any name at the end or at the start so what I have to do is to click on set name and then you can press the new prefix and suffix for example I want it at the end of it so I would just uh, write my name here and then it will add it in the end and same goes for the start one so yeah, it will now add it in the start so yeah this is how we can rename uh, multiple object at once it's um don't know what this exact tool called it's batch rename yeah but I sometimes call it bulk renamer which can be also fine okay so on number 10 i actually have a tool that a lot of people know but at the same time a lot of people don't know so if you don't know it you can just um, see it here so it's called the spin tool so what it happens is that if i want to turn this into a 90 degree and i want to do a smooth cut so what i have to do is that i select these edges and now come up here to the spin and now I can just click on spin and now I will get this kind of menu and it work with the cursor so I would need my cursor to be here shift right click to move my cursor here and it's uh, now on the Z direction so I would need it on the Y direction and now I can just do this kind of thing and now I can store it this way and as you can see it how smoothly it cut it turns my mesh into like this so it can be used creating um, pipe kind of things uh, to create pipes and this kind of stuff and yeah you can play with it and create some good shapes so yeah it also have the spin duplicate um, it works somehow similar but with duplicate so what I want here is that I have a spare here and if I just control a and apply transform to keep it here um, with the spin duplicate and actually i would need my cursor to be uh, here i can change my view and now if i just drag as you can see it will duplicate these all object in a spin and you can change the amount actually also the angle that you want it so it's fully customizable and yeah you can actually create it it can be a time saving thing yeah okay so the 11th and the last tool that i'm going to show you today is the negative bevel thing so normally what we have is that uh, if we bevel anything it work like this oh i have this uh, start thing so let me just reset that default and let's make this one and yeah so normally if we uh, bevel it work like this but what we can also do is we can uh, actually invert this so when I'm beveling it I can press P and now it will actually bevel inside like this so I think yeah it's pretty useful 
to set the uh, it's called the bevel profile and yeah so i can just do one side like this and one side like this and same goes for the uh, vertex bevel so it it is with the control shift p to just bevel that and it working like this but same can be done by just negative profile like this as you can see it's kind of like cool effect and i'm really loving it okay so hope you like the video and if you like give me a, thumb, a thumbs up and tell me in comments that how many of tool you were already knowing and how many you learned it today so um, you can hit a subscribe for support and thank you so much for watching see you in the next video